everybody, Taco Bay 7 How are you all doing, my friends? I'm here playing Star Wars The Force Awakens Lego. And I'm continuing where I last left off. If you haven't, please check out my first gameplay. I explained some things why I'm not playing that last game that I played before, why I stopped. I know that's a common thing that I do. I'm a horrible YouTube gamer. <laughs> that I tend to stop the games. It's very rare that I finish a game, but unless I really like it. But I do tend to finish this game. One reason that I tend to not finish a game is that I get into the game and I play it on my own. And, um, and then when I go back to it, okay, now let me play it for YouTube. I'm like, I really don't want to play it again. I know it's... <laughs> That's not a thing I should say, like, oh, I don't want to play it again. But I'm going to make sure I do not go ahead of myself with this game. Like, once I finish a uh, level and stuff, and then once I say bye to you guys, I'm going to say bye. I'm not going to continue playing and stuff. So, as you can notice, there's R2-D2. He's right there, stuck under the tree. I need to unlock him. I need Wicked. This is another new feature. If, you, if you've seen my first gameplay of this game, I've told you two different new features. This is another new one. I can call a team, like these three Ewoks, to help me. And other characters can do this as well. I need their help. We're all four going to go in here. Let me collect all this first. Now, as you can see, the other two need to go there as well. And the other one... I'm going kind of slow. We need to push this. And you will see some magic happening right now. All oh, those Lego logs. Look at that guy. If you were smart, you know, he wouldn't move at all. He would just stay there. Thank you, my friends. Now back here. And if you notice in my first and second gameplay. What the heck is that? Oh, those are two pieces of the... I'm going the wrong way. I, I just did the same thing before. Let me go back up here. Like, your in instincts are that, you know, oh, let me go back to the other team, but it's not. Okay, now I'm going to go here. I'll build this here. Collect all of that. First, let me break this. If you can tell, the bar in the top is halfway full, which is good. And if you're wondering why I'm, this is one of the older movies that I'm playing as, and it's the the Force Awakens. You'll, you'll have to see my first gameplay to see why we're playing this. And there we have freed R2. Okay, now I can get out of this thing. I'm going to break it. Build it again. Where can I build it? Okay, I'm going to build it over here. Okay, I need the other characters, okay. Here we go. I need another character. Leia. Okay, Leia, you go up there. Now Han, you go like this. Oh, nope. Stay there. Nope. What the heck? Let me build this first. Doing mistakes, doing mistakes. Okay, now we go up here. Help Leia get up here. Get that piece. There we go. Very important pieces. Okay, now we break this again. We build it again. Now on this side.
And as you can see there, now I need R2. Like right now it's R2, but later on in the game, when we play as the new characters, it'll be BB that does this thing unless I play as R2 again. Because I don't know if you guys have seen The Force Awakens. R2, sorry to say spoiler alert, uh, only came out like around the end, about the end of the movie. So let me go up again. Play it as, there we go, play it as Han. And even if you collect all the bars at the end, um, you know, you still need to collect these. And as I can see here, there's there's some type of feature that I have to have Admiral Akbar. So I guess he's a big part of, of, of this game. Because I've heard a lot about him. You guys know Admiral Akbar, right? It's a trap! You guys saw him. If you guys saw the first gameplay, he came out. All these coins. Build this here. Okay, now what? Let go. That's pretty cool. And now I have my own toy. Let me collect these coins before they disappear. What, what is this? Oh! Now there are two different ways to do this. There was the left side and the right side. I choose this side. The rebels have been routed. They're fleeing into the woods. We need reinforcements to continue the pursuit. Open the back door. <laughs> Good. Use your aggressive feelings, boy. <laughs> I will not fight you, father. <laughs> so be it. I'm here playing now as Darth Vader or Lord Vader, depending on how you guys like it. And Luke Skywalker, father and son, we are teaming up to fight the Emperor. Darth Vader has, you know, learned his true ways. You have to keep moving because the Emperor keeps, that's my phone, I'm sorry, keeps shooting electricity at us. And you have to like keep moving. That was pretty funny. Okay, now that side is broken. So now Mika is Luke here. Ah, miss me. Go this side now. Good, he gave me more toys to work with. You have paid the price for your lack of vision. Now, let me 
we build this. Pretty funny right there. Love that sound. Now we have to break his barrier. You know he'll be, he would be so cool if this were like in the movie. If he did things like that. Throw it at the Ember. One thing that a lot of people miss is this up here. I love this part. I'm sure we're gonna see this same thing happen later on in the game between uh, Kylo Ren and and Ray or whoever he faces. Again, I do hope they bring out the complete saga again, remastered, and we get to play all of the original game, uh, the original movies again. And that's what I like about this game, because normally in Lego games, when you play a movie or something, when a character dies, it, they don't really... You see, that's a funny joke. It looks like the actor that played Anakin, he switches the head. No. Like, saying, that's the correct no, way. My son. Um, as I said before, um, no. normally when a character no. dies, they show that he's Do still alive and stuff like that. But there, no. we saw the Emperor fall and, and die. And there, right here, Darth Vader just died as well. Normally, in the Lego games before, he would maybe fall asleep or something. The shield is down. Commence attack on the Death Star's main reactor. Go, group. All fighters, follow me. Okay, now we're playing the ship portion. Uh, my advice in this part, just start shooting things and go through the hoops. So you could collect the coins and stuff like that. Because right now I'm just shooting and bobbing left and right. That's pretty much all I'm doing. I'm not controlling where the ship goes. It's just doing that on its own. Later on you do learn new things that you do with the ships and stuff, you know? And now we're going inside. Now lock onto the strongest Pretty much the same source. thing. The Go through the rings. Form up and stay alert. We can Shoot all over the place fast. so you could, like, collect things. There it is. You'll have to destroy all the shield plating around the generator. Just keep moving. Okay, this one's pretty simple, just the blue circles just blow all of them up. One more.
This is pretty fun here when you see this Darth Vader and Anakin's right next to him. And I was like, okay, what is that all about? And it was really Qui Gon Jinn. And now we really play 30 years later. And there's BB 8 and Poe. I can't pronounce his last name. Poe. Paul Damron. Damn, Damron. Paul Damron. Poe, there you are. Glad you made it back in one piece. Yeah, there's no time for that now. And yeah, there's no time to get comfortable. So pretty much he's sending you the mission which is the beginning of the movie The Force Awakens and this area is kind of like a safe zone where you collect things and stuff like that. So I'm going to leave you guys now. You guys can watch next time and thank you for watching and as I said before I'll see you all next time. Remember embrace the blue and uh, I love you guys. Alright see you next time. Hasta la bye bye. Thank you for watching. I love you.